for stopping by my channel again and i hope you guys are having a great time so this week i am back with the follow-up video which is called doro wait which literally means chicken stew and this recipe is only prepared in special occasion or big festival as it takes long time to prepare so last week video i've already uploaded the specific spices that you'll be required or you'll be needing for this recipe so if you have checked out that's fine if not you can click on the link which is on top right side now for this recipe you will be needing around one kilogram of chicken you can use any part but i prefer back or leg part now i'll be taking one lime cut it into two halves and we'll squeeze all the juices around my chicken So basically this procedure helps us to cleanse out the chicken. Now I'll be scrubbing all around the chicken pieces and pour with some water. Wash it and drain it. Again cut few pieces of lime, spread juice around and leave the pieces all over the chicken. Then add around 2 teaspoon of coarse salt. Then pour some water on top and leave your mixture aside for 20 to 30 minutes. In doing so, it cleanses your chicken thoroughly and leave that citrusy lime flavor on it. Now grab around 4 to 5 medium size of onion and remove the inner top part. Now if you have an electric food processor, you can put it straight on it. I'm using a manual food processor so I'll cut it into small pieces and then put it in a processor. Now start processing your onion. You don't need a fine pieces, big chunky pieces will work as well. Once it's done Put it in a bowl and keep it aside. Heat up a pan and add around 2 tablespoons of butter. As it requires pretty good amount of oil. So I would recommend use some healthy oil like avocado or olive oil. Now once your butter is melted, add onion on top. mix it nicely and keep frying it in the meantime we're gonna prepare our ginger garlic paste take some generous amount of ginger and around 9 to 10 cloves of garlic and start grinding it make it paste in the meantime we'll check our onion we'll add around 5 to 6 tablespoon of olive oil on top and stir it nicely make sure the heat is on medium to high flame check it time to time make sure it doesn't burn out on the bottom of your pan now drain out the water from chicken and add a ginger garlic paste on my ginger garlic paste i've also added five to six dry chili because by default this recipe has to look red in color so this chili will help me to get that color but if you don't like spicy just skip that step also add around two to three teaspoon of salt on top start uh, massaging it give it a good massage also add a cup of water and mix it nicely and keep it aside now we'll check on our onion we need to fry our onion until it's well done or translucent once you think your 
onion mixture is really well done then it's ready to receive its major ingredients called bebere which is famous spices back in Ethiopia and is used on most of the curry without which your recipe won't be dorowet then add kibe now this is also one of the important recipe or important ingredient in this recipe it's a Ethiopian spiced clarified butter so if it's not available you can use a ghee Indian ghee which is not um, spiced but that will work then start adding your chicken on top and of course those liquid marination stir it nicely make sure your heat is in medium to high add some salt on top again to taste keep stirring it make sure it doesn't stick on the bottom lid it up let the juice comes out from the mixture stir it again check it time to time and if your chicken mixture is getting dry add some water on top mix it well and make sure you put your heat on medium or low flame because we have to cook this for at least two hours let it up check it time to time in doing so you'll get that aromatic flavor or juice that comes out of the bone and once you think your dorovet is almost done this will be the good time to add some extra salt or paprika just to enhance that color because by default this recipe has to be in red in finalize color. your dorovet with makalesa ethiopian spice blend which i've already done video last week you can check that out on the link which is on right hand side on top now doro weight has to be eaten with um, ethiopian bread which is called engera uh, it's a flat sour spongy bread if it's not available you can use any kind of bread it's up to you and also add some boiled eggs on top so if you liked my video please do share and subscribe my channel and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss my future video i'll see you next week around same date same time till then peace out from new zealand bye for now